I suppose there is one thing that would change my mind. Oh yeah, we need to look at Hulse's uh, stats after this. Ayo. Hey, Ayo. Hey, I was thinking that. I was thinking that. And then, honestly, Hulse had this coming, alright? So I'm saying it. You mean if I made a move on him? Okay, hey everyone. Welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Three Hopes. And I can't remember i've been recording a lot so i forget what happens um like at the very last moment and there's a lot of things that i catch but this is gonna be a support episode and i kind of i kind of want to start with holst um i was trying to actually get holst and hilda and holst and um balthus which i got to see but as you know this game's different so yeah, at least I got Claude, but that might be enough. But either way, um, let's get started. Let's start ours. Which I've been hey, Holst, you here to train? I've been using Holst quite a lot. He's one of my favorite characters to use. I gotta say. That's right. I was just about to get started. In fact. Perfect. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. I was only planning on honing the fundamentals, mind you. And that's another thing. I've been mastering so many subclasses that truly my main team, they can get really, really strong. I'll show you after this. Oh, hmm. Uh, I was actually hoping we could spar a little. I've heard stories about you for as long as I can remember. Yeah? People say you're the mightiest warrior in all of Leicester. Yeah? So I thought this would be a good chance to learn a little something about your strength. And I also like the fact that he's the mightiest warrior, yet he doesn't have a crest. Makes it, you know, seem like crests aren't as important as they seem. Especially because I made a comment about Lawrence and Irwin. Um not using the staff of Gloucester because they you know not only train with spears and I got a response saying that they don't have to train it in the weapon that they use but isn't that the whole point you know the use the power of the crest to maintain your territory but if it's not necessary I'm all for it I'm afraid you'd likely learn little from such a bout you think what why not I can't go all out against an ally when I spar, I have to take care not to kill my partner, unlike in a real fight. I see, and that explains his comment to Balthus. Eh, I can live with a few broken bones. Just show me what you've got. Okay, respect, great. If I do, broken bones will be the least of your worries. I'm well aware of your strength. I'd be in for a world of trouble myself if I held anything back. Okay, I respect the compliment. So, is there anything I can do to convince you? If you're that insistent about it, I suppose there is one thing that would change my mind. Oh yeah, we need to look at Hulse's uh, stats after this. Ayo. Hey, Ayo, hey, I was thinking that. I was thinking that, and then, honestly, Hulse had this coming, alright? So I'm saying it. You mean if I made a move on Hilda? I'm saying it! <laughs> now why would I want to kill you for that? Don't be ridiculous. Really? Because I've never seen you make that face. I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, that's not what I meant. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at Hulse's um, stat sheet right after this. The only way you'll experience my full might is if you face me as an enemy. Okay, well, yeah, I think I'm pretty used to that. After all, there's no greater teacher than the battlefield. The vast majority of what I've learned didn't come from lectures or drills. Yeah. It came from dancing with death time and again in the heat of battle. It explains why House Gonril's so strong, because they have to fight against all Myrans. You know, they're probably the... Yeah, now that I think about it, they're probably the house with the most fighting experience, because... What, like, the three nations of Fulton, while they had their skirmishes, you know, they weren't... I would think the battles between Almira and Gonril and then Gautier and Srang were among the most severe. That's what I think. 
But then again, I haven't heard anything about Sylvain's father being a beast. Either way. So, what do you say, friend? Care to team up with the enemy and pit your steel against mine? Not a chance. Nah, I'm good. I'm not in the mood to betray my friends today. Yeah, I... I bought this. Quite a collected response for someone so young. Truth be told, I was expecting a little more bravado. Halls between you and me, uh... I don't take betrayal too well. Anyway, for now I can settle for honing the fundamentals alongside an ally. I mean, I'll be willing to forgive depending on the situation, but, you know... I... I want to stay loyal to the people I care about. Wonderful. Shall we begin? Okay. I like that. How many do we have? Oh good, we have three. I, I at least want three with Holst. Yeah, um, let's uh let's take a look at his unit information, shall we? Okay, so assist his father Duke Gonril as his heir in two years ago. When the war begins, he assumes command of Gonrul's army, appears at Deirdre as reinforcements, henceforth joins the Alliance army as a general. He's heir to house Gonrul, likes honing the military arts, okay, generalship, I like that, Gonrul territory, dislikes staying up late, really, okay, interest. Holy Jesus. I can't believe what you're telling me. <laughs> no way, no goddamn way, hell no. What is it? By the way. What was it that ailed Holtz? I don't care. I did not hear all the details, but apparently he ate some bad mushrooms. Apparently, he'd eaten a bad mushroom before the battle, and it made him horribly sick. Really? What an idiot. Bruh! This man is a whole meme. This man is a whole meme. I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I expected. Praising Hilda. Writing letters to Hilda and eating mushrooms. I don't, you know, I I don't know what to say at that anymore. I honestly don't. I and his uh, close allies. That makes sense. Why, why does he like eating mushrooms? I. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I don't know anymore. All right. All right, is that is that it? Just hold. I mean, we could check Balt this. What he? What was he up to? W wandering mercenary. When the war begins, he's hired by the Imperial Army. Yep, simple. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we already know the other stuff. So, dislikes getting an earful from Duke Gonril. Really. Hmm. All right. And did Hilda's update. Nah, she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't mention holes. So, oh, and also, uh, the wing thresher is a D weapon. I discovered. Um, I could upgrade it, but honestly, I think it will be outclassed by other weapons later. So that's a shame. I quite like the look of the sword and the name, uh, convoy. A blade that enables its wielder to slash skyward with ease effective against flyers, so. And I might try to keep it, but um, typically all flyers that we've seen in this game, none have been archers as well, or anything else, they typically have an axe, so he doesn't really need it. I feel like it's kind of, not redundant, but eventually it just seems like it won't be useful. Oh, which by the way, yeah, so like I was saying, not sure if I showed you all, but yeah, everyone, well, most of my team now has at least six skills now, because I just, any class they can master, since I have the time, I'm like, you might as well, so, and I only use the training room to master other classes, oh, yeah, 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 take a look at it, I think it happened because I increased my level of the camp from D to C. Um, I, while I did upgrade the training room itself, I'm not sure if that's what caused the change. Hmm. They only fits well with uh, these colors. But it's not just this area. Um, another place... Oops. Check this out. 
This looks so much better. And more cozy, like, Marianne was too dressed up to be, you know, just some wooden cabin, but now it's got, you know, actual furniture that looks comfortable, it's got paintings, and check out the outside. That's nice. That's nice. So now I'm curious to see what, um, when I raise the camp level more, what else will change? Hopefully, yeah, because look at, look at the kitchen. It certainly does need an upgrade. And I think, I'm not sure if home base uh, changed any. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage. But I don't think so. Anyways, let's continue. Um, we got Holst and Claude. So, Holst's leading the soldier's drills himself, eh? Seems like a good job for him. And by the way, Holst is very respectful to Claude, if I didn't say that already. It's nice, but honestly, if I was in Claude's shoes, I'd be like, nah, man, you can just call me Claude. Like, I respect your history. I forgot to check Hulk's age. I'm gonna do that too. And everyone looks to be way more into it than usual. <laughs> That's Holst for you, all right. My ears are burning, my lord. Oh, really? Holst, well, what a surprise. I was just watching your drills. Is the camp different here too? Everyone looks so spirited. Probably because they know you're keeping an eye on them. Shoot, I'd be happy if he was nearby. So the soldiers aren't so enthusiastic with others? Uh, well... Training is only meaningful if it emulates true battle. Without tension, it's little more than exercise. That makes sense. We'll need to improve our methods at once. Let's cut them a little slack. It's not like they're all goofing around when you're not there. It's just that everyone gets a tiny bit more excited when they get to see you in the flesh. You're Lester's living legend, <laughs> the powerful warrior who accomplishes feats of undaunted heroism without even a crest to help him. I wonder if Caspar's father has a crest. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I just feel like the fact that he doesn't have a crest is, you know, is a statement. It's a statement, even though he wears it as a cape. You know, it's it's like a. Uh, an underdog story. Yeah, that's it. An underdog story. And they get to train and fight with you? Seriously, it's probably the biggest thrill of their lives. And I meant to comment on that living legend part. Yeah, he Holst barely shows up, apparently. Ha! You have quite the gift for flattery. But someone like me is nothing when compared to the ten elites. I don't buy that, Holst. I don't buy that. Of course, I wouldn't walk away from that fight empty-handed. Even unaided, I bet I could take a limb or two before the end. Like, when you say 10 elites, you're talking about the actual 10 elites? Because I would honestly think that we'd be better than them now. You know, we have more knowledge of how to use these weapons. Maybe? If you can keep up with the 10 elites, I'll need to invent some even more impressive flattery. I mean, we, because technically didn't we fight them? Or would you consider it just to be the ghost not to be the actual thing? I don't know. But I meant what I said about the troops. Honestly, I feel the same excitement just standing next to you. Same, Claude. It's nice for him to be here. I know I've said that a lot, but come on, it's been three years. Then it was worth my coming here. Yes, it was. Still, I believe that you inspire far more trust and enthusiasm than I do. Well, it helps for the main person to know what he's doing. The Alliance would never have come together like this if that weren't the case. If only it would have. A little solidarity would go a long way for us. Yeah. Though I wonder if Claude's grandfather could have... Or even his uncle? Or his mother. <laughs> um, if they could have done... Like if... Count Gloucester would have trusted them more, or... I don't know. I don't know what would have happened if it wasn't Claude. Anyway, thanks again, Holst. It's much appreciated. Because he is an outsider, but in some ways that actually helps with his strategies and, you know, unique way of thinking. I'm just doing my job as the heir to House Goneril. All I do is for the sake of the Lester Alliance. Yeah? Though, even more importantly... Hilda stands at your side. Oh, really? That alone is enough to keep me near at hand. <laughs> then, Holst, where were you when she was on Death's door? You know how many times I have to save her? All right, sir? It sounds like I need to thank Hilda instead, then. 
<laughs> Maybe. It couldn't hurt to do so, but also keep her safe. Genholst. Yeah, again, I know I'm saying things a lot, but you gotta understand. Two years! No, well, yeah, two years protecting Hilda, because the th first year in the Golden Deer route, you know, he. It was understandable. I, I, I kept her safe, but when she wasn't there. As you know, I've sworn to protect Fodlin's throat with my very life if need be. Okay, in other words, you're saying you, you, you had to be where you were. So if the Almirans turn their attentions to it, I'll have no choice but to return there at once. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. But Deirdre in trouble though? And if that happens, we'll be right there with you to drive them back. Call it a gut feeling, but I suspect their next attack will be a battle that changes Fodlin's fate forever. Oh, really? Yeah, like I said, I know I'm giving host a lot of stuff, but honestly, I have a huge smile on my face. You probably can't tell. Um, I love having him here, but I had a, like a mountain's worth of stuff I wanted to say to him. And since we are in the same position, I'm like, host, be there. For your little sis. During when Deirdre was in trouble, I didn't hear anything about the Almirans, especially when they actually showed up, you know? They could only get here, I think, if Hulse knew about them. And in the Golden Deer route, Claude made sure that Hulse and Nadir met each other. Which, I mean, I don't even know if Claude needed to do that. It seems like they had quite the history themselves, so. But he got to, he set up a, an actual meeting between the two of them, so. Which, on that note, that's actually a good question. In the Golden Deer route, Nadir was posing as uh, one of Claude's uh, retainers. So, is he here now? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out later. But, yeah. Overall, I, I just like how the Battle of Deirdre happened in this map. Because... It makes sense. If Deirdre's under attack, House Gonril is House Regan's closest allies and pretty much the only people that they can turn to. Hilda being there, yeah, it's it does send a statement, but realistically speaking, you need all hands on deck. Unless Claude just flat out didn't want to... Um... That is another thing. If Claude didn't want to in involve Hulse because he wasn't trying to win-win the battle... In a sense, you know, it's more so the Almirans would help, and then the uh, the Alliance people, which would then be under the Empire, would remember that um, kindness. I don't know, but something to think about. And yeah, now I'm looking at it. Base camp is definitely not done. That screams construction. So, okay. Oh, actually, I did. Uh, I did get this. One would love this stuff. Doesn't a meal made by a friend always taste better? Agreed. Maybe I'll treat you to something myself next time. I'm quite the skilled cook, if I may say. Didn't know that. So next up, oh, well, we could go to Hilda. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Oh, we should have done Raf C rank first. Hey, hey, still alive? Yeah? I think it'd be pretty obvious if I wasn't. But yes, I'm back and all in one piece. Well, that's a relief. However, I noticed your approach to battle hasn't changed one bit. Like I said before. Professor, it's been too long. I was hoping you'd show up. Of course, I gotta protect you guys. I gotta protect you all. You still charge to the front and dive right into the thick of it. I was trying to be careful, but I guess it didn't really work. I honestly was trying to be careful. Well, you are some kind of master soldier, right? I'm starting to think you might not get yourself killed after all. Well, I gotta remember who's on the horizon. Huh, so now you approve of my approach? Why the change of heart? I realized that taking the lead and fighting at the front yep. is exactly what my brother does. Yeah. True. And they say Holst is the bravest commander in all of Leicester. Bravest? Okay. Strongest? Maybe. But bravest? Yeah, that actually could be true as well. Yeah. Yeah, I can buy that. 
Usually, the commanders stay in the back so they can see the whole battlefield and give orders. But not my brother. Honestly, he can't stand being back there. He has to be leading the charge. Yeah, I got that impression from the few combos I had with him. That's why I used to worry myself sick every time he went off to battle. But at some point, I'm not sure when, I became convinced that my brother would never die. You know, that's actually a very good point. No matter what route I did, Hulse survives. That's interesting. What made you think that? I'm not sure. But it's not like there's anyone out there who can beat him, right? I don't know. He never met Blake. When I realized that, it just seemed like a waste of time to worry about him so much. If anything, you should be pitying the chumps on the other side. Precisely. And then I realized, it's the same with you. You're just like my brother. <laughs> well, I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> it's an honor to be put in the same category as Holst. Yeah, you both have said that. Now I know I'm wasting my time worrying about you. And it's not like I can stop you anyway. I actually hope you keep doing what you do, so I can Dang, take it here. easy in the back. Okay, scratch that. I will change my methods. That's the plan. But no, actually, I... I don't want Hilda to be forced into another Brit situation. But I'm pretty sure I've seen you fighting up front with me recently. Yeah. You even seem to be enjoying yourself. Me? Enjoying myself? <laughs> Please, if I'm fighting at the front, it's because I have no other choice. We really don't, Hilda. You're our only axe user, and you have the axe. The axe. The whole time I'm fighting, I'm wishing I could be cheering everyone on from the sidelines instead. You know, yelling stuff like, smash them good, and yeah, use those muscles. Nah, smash is your thing, all right? You got exclusive rights to that move. That would really inspire our troops, right? And remember, this is me we're talking about. Hmm. I should be cheering everyone on from the sidelines. It'll certainly improve the boys' morale, don't you think? You're better off being there in the actual battlefield. You increase their strength. I mean, honestly, it might. But I think it's just inspiring if you're actually out there. I don't know. I think all that yelling would only annoy some people. And yeah, true. True. It, like, if we're in wartime, <laughs> as you see somebody standing in the back, it's like, nah, what the heck's going on? You see, the thing why it doesn't bother me at all, you know, like, even though I may call it out on it, is because when it's actually time to fight, you can see it in the other routes. Hilda will do what she has to do. She might complain, but she'll be there. You obviously haven't experienced my phenomenal cheering skills firsthand. Really? Well, let me see. Next time, I'll cheer for you too. You'll see how inspiring it can be. Really? All right, sounds good. I'll keep an ear out. I mean, a, a cheer while you're fighting with somebody is always, you know, that's definitely inspiring. And any others while we're on? Ooh, yeah, Marianne and... She got both of Leonis? And... Oh, jeez. Yeah, like I said, I think Hilda's like the unit I've used the most because her role has not been taken. In fact, I'm trying to think because Caspar currently has gauntlets. Ferdinand, Lance, Bernadetta, a bow, Petra, a sword. The only person in our immediate future, I think... Who uses an um, who uses an axe is Lottie Slava of all people, but I cannot see her joining us. Like I would think some units are route exclusive because otherwise, the the uh, appeal to try certain routes would go significantly down. I mean, I would consider Lottie Slava to be um, and Randolph to be. Uh, reasons why you would consider trying the Black Eagle route out. You know, because... But they already... I think they already gave you one, you know? Like, Monica's here. And they actually showed her in cutscenes and stuff, so... Anyways. Um, which also is... Um, 
it fits more because I believe the Empire was supposed to be the most adept at magic. I forgot about that fact when <laughs> Lysithia got all 10 of her skills and I was like, uh, yeah, okay, sure, you can say that. I wonder what Monica's spells are. You can check that, by the way. Um, if you go to change classes, um, yeah, here, you can see what skills a unit will get. So, yeah, pretty handy. It can also, um, like for someone like Hilda, it would benefit her to get this because she gets access to more axe prowess and other combat art. And which she did, by the way, or is working on that right now, but she already got a lightning axe. So, nice. Yeah, then let's end off Hilda's with um breath just one how you feeling Raphael? everything healing up you got injured hey hilda yeah i'm fine this is nothing well that's good to hear still don't go pushing yourself too hard okay you know it thanks for looking out for me like, I'm also hesitant to say if Hilda's in the midst of her transition from being lazy or caring for her friends, because that seems to be in full bloom right now. You really were incredible out there today, you know? Full bloom. I mean, even if you did get sort of reckless at times. It kind of reminded me of my brother, actually. <sighs> I have to remember, he's here. He is here. What? Holst? Well, I sure appreciate you saying so. But I'm nothing compared to that guy. I wouldn't say that, Raph. He's strong as an ox, a master of every single weapon. Really? And has muscles bulging out of his other muscles. Yeah, but he doesn't have the rel or his crest, so okay. Okay. His workout routine must be the stuff of legend. I'd give anything to be like him. And that is true, because Tulse is normal, so Raph could easily do what he does. Yeah, he trains literally all the time. It's no surprise that two of you get along like a house on fire. Well, that's a saying. I also appreciate how much he values his family. That's true. Raph's in the same position. Yeah, because I sure don't. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> He's just being a good big brother who's looking out for his little sister. Exactly, Raph. Exactly. We do that. We do that around here. In fact, the last time we met up, we had a great time swapping stories about our sisters. Oh, shoot, what'd he tell you? Wait, so you were talking about me? Ugh, oh, I really hope he didn't say anything weird. It wasn't weird at all. We were just chatting about how cute our sisters were. Hey, yo! <laughs> nah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah, I, 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 I draw the line at that, alright? I've never said that. Never said that. What are you guys talking about? See, when she was little, my sis couldn't fall asleep unless I tucked her in. Okay. Head, and we had a nice chat. Okay, if we're talking about younger, okay, okay, I, I, you know what, I don't even want to acknowledge that. And at some point, while we were talking, whoosh, out like a candle. It was adorable. Then Holes told stories about when you were little, said you whined a lot. I see that. I really see that. Stop, stop, stop. I'm not interested in stories about myself, and especially not stories like that. You know, I should have taken pictures of... I can review, review these supports anytime I need to. I'll take pictures off camera. This is all unbelievably embarrassing. So let's just bury the whole conversation in the world's deepest hole and pretend it never happened. Is it is it just me? Or, these, or do these feel like incredibly wholesome? I'm not sure if the other routes have that um, same feeling. Because I heard people saying that the supports in this game are really good. So I'm assuming so, but like I, it just it feels like a family, you know. It's not embarrassing. It's nice. Like instead of two friends, it almost feels like cousins talking. You know what I mean? Anyway, I eventually told Holst how sad and lonely I was to be living apart from my sister now. Yeah. And he said he's sad he never gets to work with you, even though you're in the same army. I I could have easily made that happen, Holst. If I would, oh, me and Claude, you know, we easily could have, we easily could have done that. And we ended the conversation by promising to always keep our sisters safe, no matter what. Yes. Yes. 
You promise each other? Oh, I swear my brother is always like this. What if he gets even more overprotective? Now that he has you for a big brother buddy. Oh, you don't even know. Holst is overprotective? Huh. I never got that impression. Yeah, honestly, speaking to Holst, you never get that. It's... Unless, you know, you, you poke the holes, but, um, yeah, on the surface, he, he keeps calm and collected around Hilda. Well, he's better than he used to be. I mean, at least I don't have to send him constant letters now. Yeah. Still, according to what Balti told me. So Baltus is in this. Wow, yeah, these supports feel a lot more alive. Holst apparently said, and I quote, I will be the one to decide if her future husband is good enough. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I chose that now. I'm glad I chose that now. <laughs> That's so funny. I agree, Raph. My sister's gonna call the shots on who I marry, too. She told me so. <laughs> wow. Our situations could not be more different. Oh, that's nice. I love these so far. I wish I could see Hilda's and Hulse, but... I mean, I could take them out on a couple more missions, but we'll see them in time, alright? I don't want to see all the good ones immediately. And now it is time for the question of the day, and I still can't believe we're here. Like, so many other people have had different experiences, but for me, who started with the Golden Deer and... Like I said, compared to other routes, we really didn't have too much attachment to the story, so things like Hulse I feel was even bigger, you know, getting to know my team. And that became like one of the biggest memes, I think, on my channel at least. For him to actually be here, for us to talk. Now granted, you know one thing I'm actually thinking about? He still hasn't met. Part of the running joke for me was that he would do anything, even fight Nemesis, to avoid meeting Byleth slash Blake. And that still hasn't happened, technically. Um, I'm noting that. But anyways, I'm also very upset that I didn't realize his sword is literally an Almiron Slayer. It is effective against flying creatures. And normally swords beat axes, which is what most Almirons use, unless you're clawed, so... It makes them light work, and it's fitting for someone who's literally meant to fight against them at a moment's notice. So I actually did end up keeping that sword, and I actually upgraded it later on, which by the way, I did get some more of whole supports uh, with Baldus and Hilda later. That's all I'm gonna say. Look forward to that. But for now, I think there's only one question I want to ask you all. Do you have any siblings? You don't have to list them, you know, I'm not asking for personal information, just because if it wasn't clear, if you're new watching me, I do. And that's why I put myself in Hull's position. So, because, and, and Raph, we're like, we're all brothers in arms, I guess you could say. So, with that being said, please post your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.